Hello there. I hope you're having a beautiful afternoon and I hope that you had a wonderful week with my STEM, ed, STEM crew adventures this week, which were about the physical world. Um, I'm so anxious to find out which of the careers you like the best. Would it have been the inventor and entrepreneur or the lab technician or the astronomer or the builder? Whichever one it was, you know now that tools and electronic tools and technology are pretty much what guides all those careers. And they can be inside of an office or they can be in a lab or they can be in a dark basement researching or they can be outside building things like this amazing porch. So. There's a wide range of careers in technology and a lot of skills required. So I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about those this week. And to end up this week, I have a book about a technology professional. And this book is The Be For STEM Career Crew Repairs Scopes with Robotic Tools, Robotic Arms and Such. Now let's see what this adventure is about. After a weekend at the observatory with Ivan, his boss, Iggy was anxious to get back to the lab and compare their microscopes to the telescope that he had used and look at stars all weekend. Ivan was already at work when Iggy arrived. After sharing his story, Iggy turned on the scope Wait, he said. No light was shining. On the stage, he called Ivan over. Oh my goodness, Ivan, it looks like our scopes are down and I can't focus the lens to view the, obje the objects. No problem, Ivan replied calmly. We'll just call Maya, the repair tech. She has the tools to find and fix any problem. The job will be up and running again very soon. Maya came down to the lab with her tool cart quickly. She was delighted to have a new problem to solve. How can I help you guys today? Well, we're not sure if it's the electrical, technical, or just a physical problem, Maya. We'll need you to investigate and let us know, Ivan said. I've got this, Ivan. I'll have you up and running by dinner time, Maya assured him. Maya went to work quickly testing one possibility at a time. First, she tested electricity with the tool called a voltmeter and it made a good connection. Check, she called out. The electrical connection is good. Next, she checked the parts of the scope to see if they were all lining up correctly within each scope. Sure enough, the lens in each scope had been jolted out of place. I found the problem, guys. Your lenses are out of focus, added Maya quickly. Ivan looked confused and asked, how could that happen? Well, shared Maya, I found your problem, but now we need to find the cause, right? Ivan agreed. Now let's check the physical space. As they surveyed the lab, they found that each scope had been moved from its usual lab space and each twisted about sideways too. Ivan covered his eyes and yelled, aha, I remember. The cleaning crew had to change computers out and clean their filters last night. With the problem and its cause solved, now Maya was free to go from one scope to the next with her robotic arm tool to reset each lens in the lab until each reflected light at the right angle. She worked quickly and completed the repairs by dinner time, just as she had promised. Back at the lab, the crew gathered to thank Maya for working so well and quickly to keep them from losing valuable research time in their lab. They all agreed this was another adventure they needed to share with Tom's class soon. 
Isn't it great when we can work together on solving STEM adventure problems? Before they left, they, for the evening, they said to each other, have a great weekend and we'll see you again soon. And that's what I say to you each time. So this book has diagrams that you saw this week in your lesson and another successful adventure was completed. Watch for the drone adventure stories coming soon. Until then, use the career crew descriptions in this book and that I'll give to you later to make up your own story and solve new problems today. So, have a great weekend and think about all those careers and when we get together next week, I can't wait to share what we'll talk about then. Bye for now.